it's got quite an orange colour to it actually. It does, I remembered it being more... Darker. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> if you hold the glass upside down, it will come out. <laughs> I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a snob. Subscribe! subscribe. We're trying one of your favourite, and one of my favourite, what from the Whiskey Festival last year. Yep, from the February Glasgow Whiskey Festival yes. rather than the November one. And it was one of the favourites, I think, genuinely. It was one when that was released, we had a, a lot mm -hmm, of messages mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. it. People yep. were trying to get their hands on it. And it is really, I remember really enjoying it. Um, so I can't wait to try it again. And one of our awesome uh, customers slash whiskey pals gave us a sample of their bottle, which was so nice. Thank you. Gigi Thank you very much, Gigi. And, and Stuggy. Um, and yeah, we, we'd already drank some whiskey when we last had this. Had we? No, I think we went straight in. Was I think we went one? straight into the Spring, the Spring Bank. Bank stand, because this is the Kilcarran Port. Port cast. Port, yes. An eight years old, yes, yes. Port finish, I think. Cash strength. That is smells it, so creamy. Is it smoky? No. Kilkerran is usually is. a wee bit smoky. Yeah, I think so. Because I remember trying Yeah, them. yeah, a bit of smoky. Yeah. It smells purple. Would I always think Kilkerran smells purple? Uh, like a kind of ready purple for me, if it was a purple. I find it quite a deep purple. Like a more of a... Like a... Not a ready purple. Like, it makes me think of like heathery. Yeah. Yeah. So like heather colour. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't smell as sweet as I remember. For me, that smells more creamy than sweet, yeah. but like lots of vanilla, a vanilla creaminess. Mm -hmm. And yeah, smoke like chimney smoke. A wee bit. I don't remember tasting any smoke in it when we tried it, but I must have. Mm. Well, but no. Maybe not. Maybe we had had some whiskey before. Oh, God. I, I thought it was like the first one we headed for, but that might have been, been too busy to get there at the start. Mm. Um, and Kilkeddon is owned by Springbank? Yes, it was the distillery that they opened to make sure they, that the Scotch Whiskey Association would let Campbelltown keep being a region. Which is quite cool and historic then. Very isn't cool, it? yeah, yeah. So cool. they they own the two, but they just own, they just run, I think, Springbank for nine months of the year and then the Kilkeddon for the three months of the year. So they all tra traipse on over? I think so, then it's just the same people run both, yeah. Which is funny. And also, the distillery is not called Kilkeddon, is it? The distillery is called Glen Gyle. Confusing. I quite like it though because Glen Gyle, there is no Glen Gyle there. It was just mm. a name that they gave it because they thought they thought it sounded good in Scottish. There is a Glen Gyle near us here, right? But there's no Glen Gyle down there, so mm. it's not. It doesn't. It's not pertaining to the area at all. Mm -hmm. But Kilkerran is the old name for Campbelltown. Oh, so the old like name that. for Campbelltown was Kinloch Kilkerran, mm -hmm. which means head of the. Loch of the Church of St Kieran. That's cool. That's St Kieran cool. came over from Ireland and set up a wee church there. So Kilkerran is the original name for Campbelltown. Mm -hmm. Before, I think it was the 1700s, one of the local landowners who was a Campbell decided that he was important enough to name the whole town after himself. God. God. So now it's Campbelltown. What, what, like, what if the place turned out to be a shite hole and you've called yourself? I know, I know. Well, I mean, it was it had got a bit run down. It for was a few quite run down. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And was it that Glen Scotia bought the rights to, to Glen, yes, which is drama, which quite like to the name drama. Glen Gyle, so they couldn't yeah. release it under the name Glen Gyle because oh, they were drama. Glen Scotia were making a blend mm. under the name, which I'm not sure they're still making. No, but I don't think they. I don't think they even want the name back. No, no. But yeah, that's cool. Um, so. That smells like creamy, fruity berries and cream. Again. Hey, <laughs> berries and cream. I'm a little lad. She like loves berries and cream. Black currant, black currant mm -hmm. and cream. Warm black currant. Mm -hmm. Warm, warm round. Oh, not black currant in the in the R eighteen way though. No, it's a richer. Yeah, yeah, like black currant sauce. Yes, like cassis. Yes. But less tangy. But more, yeah, more, even more concentrated. Mm. But the creamy bit is more like a vanilla ice cream. Yeah, like cassis on ice cream, mm -hmm. but with no lemon juice in the cassis or whatever yeah. makes it tangy. Yeah, yeah. Should we try? It? Yes, slange. Slange. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. 
that initially has a colder taste mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it switches to a quite a hot taste mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's very warming it's very warming it's got more of a red berry taste yep 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 then a black it's got like a wee red currant mm -hmm. tang yep yep and it's got oh, a kind man. of orange oil heat as well oh it's lovely mmm mmm yeah, it's not as creamy on the taste. No tangy red berries, mm -hmm. though, definitely that. Yeah, we tea about smoke. It does. I don't yep. know why I didn't try that or taste that very much. I think. It's like the smoke is in the top half of your mouth. Yeah, yeah, it's quite. It's isolated. like all up here on like the the, the roof of your mouth. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We were tasting spring banks at the same time, so that's maybe why. Mm. Um, they've done so well for themselves this year. Eh? They They're have. just generally, but it's quite. Sp I'm finding it quite spicy. Mm. Finding it quite spicy. Mm. <sighs> like creamy at the same time it's like a kind of um uh like you know the jars of ginger you get um mm. stem ginger and syrup mm -hmm, that's what mm -hmm. it's like it's got that kind of that heat a warming yeah heat. but sweet at the same yeah, time yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's that. so good it's so good like well done all the people that managed to get hold of this because i know uh, yeah, i hope was... you're opening it and drinking it because yeah, this is yeah. not to be missed I know what a waste if that sits and collects dust. Oh, I do really like that. I want to try more Kilkerrans to be honest. Yeah. It's not one I've tried because it's quite limited and it's hard to get. Mm. That's lovely. It's lovely. It's really good. So good. Kilkerrans often, often, oftenly, oftenly, oftentimes, sometimes is a bit more available than Springbank. Also, so yeah. If you want to try. It doesn't. It's probably not. It's probably got the same. Or actually less output. Yeah, but, but it's not as it's not it's not sna snapped up as quickly. Yeah. So often you can pick it up where when the spring banks are all gone, mm -hmm. and it's so good. Yeah, I think I might. I think I'd probably say I prefer it. I bought it oh, more I, often. I, I bought it more often than you spring bank. Than spring bank. That is such a I big so. accolade for you. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, thank okay, you. Wow. Oh yeah. I heavily peated one. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so heavily peated one is good. What, what did we do? The heavily peated batch seven on. A tasting last year and I think it was we did. lovely. It was yeah, so good. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, purple. I would agree. all taste purple. Yeah. I don't even like purple the colour, but purple the taste is great. Um, I, which is weird because you don't like lavender. It's not lavender. Lavender would be lilac and that's uh, disgusting. Dark, 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 it's like purple. a deep purple. Deep purple. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Really good. Oh, so good. Mm. Ten out of ten. Thank well, you for eight out of ten. Eight out of five? I don't know. Ooh. I would put a number to it, sorry. I've never done that. No, I know you've run. No, 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 you do. You do that. You do that on a lot of them, but you go 10 out of 10. Yes. They all, I think it's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It's like I teach primary school children. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Well done. I appreciate it when I'm 10 out of 10. Gold star. I never got that in school, so I'll appreciate that. Tell me I'm 10 out of 10. You get a gold star now, Jennifer. Well done. Thank you. For drinking. Thank you for watching. Subscribe down here for more like this and join us again next time. Thank you. Slash. Bye. Thank you for joining us, we hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time, Slange. I think I could sell these on auction whiskey soap oh, trousers. Oh yes! <laughs> that Kilkerran. raging! Kilkerran soaked trousers. <laughs>